Welcome back YouTube. Thanks for coming and checking out another Fat Guy Builds. Today we're doing engine mounts on this 99 Subaru here and uh, I mean it's not a super easy job but at the same time it's kind of involved because the headers wrap under and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do it all step by step. So let's get into this. To get to the motor mounts we're going to have to get under the car. So jack it up, or if you're lucky like me, lift it with a lift. Here are the motor mounts. You got one on each side, one here, one here. And um, you can see it's a very tight fit. So to make my life less aggravating, we're just going to take off the header part. So it's these bolts over here, these bolts over here. And then these bolts right here at the coupling. <clears throat> and then we'll just put new gaskets and call it a day. Use a 14 millimeter and remove the nuts that hold the header to each head. Use two 14 millimeter wrenches here or a socket or whatever you can get in here to remove um, this bolt here. You need two of them because if you don't, one side will spin when you try to take the other side off. I'm having an insanely hard time getting these bolts out, so I'm just going to hack it off and buy uh, two new bolts and two new nuts. There's an O2 sensor here, so you're going to reach up and unplug that clip right there. And then the O2 sensor will just come out with the pipe. In order to tilt the motor up without having any issues, you're going to undo the clips on the air box. That way, the air box in this piece will tilt um, and not cause any binding issues. Here's a part number for the motor mount I got on Rock Auto. A6709. Make sure you buy two of these because there's one on each side of the engine. Use a 14 millimeter to remove the motor mount nut on both sides. Use a 14 millimeter to remove the bolts that hold this bracket to the engine. You're going to need to jack up the motor from both sides. You need to jack up the car from both sides in order to lift it high enough to get the 14 millimeter on the other side. There's a, there's a casting just like this on the other side with a 14 mil. So we're just gonna lift up the motor here high enough where you can get your hand, where you can get your hand in there with the wrench and take that bolt out. Line up the motor mounts the same way and then transfer over this plate so that it fits on the correct way Otherwise, you could have it flipped and then your life will be hell because it's not going to line up because these are all angled up to meet the cross member and the engine. So while I was editing this video, noticed I'm missing a clip. Don't know where it's at. I did so many clips at once. It might be in a different folder or whatever. Um, point is, at this point, I showed you how to take it apart. I showed you how to swap over the motor mount plates. And now you're just reversing the same exact steps you did to take the motor mount out, to put the new motor mount back in, tighten it all up, lower the motor, and you're done. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, hopefully I saved you some time, some money, and some aggravation. Until next time, wrench on.